number three already? Well, yeah. And the reason is that uh, Clement Brezhnikar, who um, runs the blog site, it's Psychedelic Baby, who originally asked me to do these reviews, uh, recently contacted an artist through seeing me show their record. And that's one Jonas, Jonas Palm, Z Worm Nest. I had mentioned when I showed this that I knew nothing about the record. Um, and what I like about Clemen is if you go to his website, it's psychedelicbaby.com, uh, I believe is it. And you look at the list of um, interviews that he's conducted over the years, it's mind boggling because he's gotten a hold of the cream of, of rock history, um, especially people who have um, been kind of overlooked or forgotten. And uh, I really admire Clemens Moxie, if that's the right word, for just going for it and finding these people and sh shedding light on their on their talents because um, many great artists have just been forgotten by time. And so he suggested I do a review of this album. He recently um, posted his interview with Jonas Palma. I suggest you go to itspsychedelicbaby.com and check the interview out. Like I said in my uh, posting of this record uh, recently, found this album, and I don't remember where or how. I imagined that when I saw it, it looked like something I would like. And it, wa it was, and it is. And this record still holds up. This was released in 1980 by uh, Jonas Palm on his own little label, Piglet, 500 copies only. God only knows how I got this record. I don't know if it came to Omaha or did I find it in another city. But through reading the interview that Clemen did with him, I discovered that Jonas was uh, inspired by hearing Tangerine Dream, Kraftwerk, things like that, and just falling in love with the synthesizer and making a record almost as soon as he found the money or had the uh, wherewithal to get a synthesizer. I would like to say, good job, Jonas. I, I have a feeling you will watch this, this um, review. You were inspired by Tangerine Dream and the greats of Synthesizer to make this record, but you managed to not sound like them at all, which I think is admirable and is part of why I still love this record. I just played played most of it to prepare for the uh, review because I listen to so much music I forget sometimes. One of the things I really like about this album is the way that it moves, the way that it moves quietly starts off and then we go into the first piece which, is, piece which is kind of a ping pongy sort of thing that slides effortlessly into the more ambient tracks and it's nice because you don't sound like you're trying to imitate anyone and therefore you don't sound like Tangerine Dream or Klaus Schultz or Kraftwerk it really has a singular sound I get a sense of discovery when I listen to this album, rather than the sound of someone who is an amateur and doesn't really know his synthesizers well yet. I don't, I didn't get that sense at all when I first heard it, nor do I now. It still sounds accomplished in the sense that this record was, had a trajectory that was, that was met. Very enjoyable very enjoyable, very smooth, the way that it moves. Um, it's not psychedelic, quote unquote, but I think I explained that in my first one, that I'll be reviewing records that loosely come under the term psychedelia, because personally, I see everything from uh, the roots of psychedelia in the 60s, through to progressive rock, through to space rock, through to ambient, through to shoegaze, through to drone. It's all psychedelic to me in some manner or another. And so I don't know that I can recommend you guys buying this record because I think you'll have a hard time finding it unless it gets reissued, which I understand there is an effort to make happen. But Jonas Palm's Z Worm Nest, an undiscovered or a soon to be discovered classic in early synthesizer work. Not groundbreaking, but really well done. Really well realized. I highly recommend this album. Thank you.